All right, there we go. Both in it. All right, so this is Nehemiah's chapter 10 and 11. Let's do it. That's what she said. It was very hard in the morning to argue with oh, the Oh, stupid ad. Nice Logic oh, shut up. I don't want to hear this. What have you done? He was talking. I couldn't pause it. Oh, great. Freaking ad. It was very hard in the morning to argue with the part of me that was sure last night was a dream. Logic wasn't on my side, or common sense. I'm right there with you. I was a few feet down the driveway before I realised there was a car. A silver car. My heart thudded, stuttered, and then picked up again in double time. Which isn't medically safe. Do you want to drive with me today? So Edward Cullen's in the driveway with his car and he's offering her a ride to school. That's what's happening. I don't know how you're brave enough to be alone with him, Jessica says to Bella. Bella says, why? He's so intimidating, I wouldn't know what to say to him. Well, don't think Bella does either, just because she has the chance to. She leaves class after talking to Jessica, Edward's outside waiting for her. Hello, he says. Hi. I couldn't think of anything else to say, so it was a quiet walk to the cafeteria. My heart throbbed at his words. Well, your heart would be beating either way with your heart. His eyes were penetrating, trying futilely, I assumed, to lift the truth straight from my mind. Is futilely a word? I lifted my hand from my neck and held up one finger. I dropped my hand to the table, moving my left hand so that my palms were pressed together. I stared at my hands, twisting and untwisting my fingers. That sounds more like a biology lesson than any of the biology lessons I've actually had. That was it for chapter 10. Chapter 11 begins with everyone watched us as we walked together to our biology table. Mr. Banner backed into the room, pulling a tall metal frame on wheels that held a heavy looking outdated TV. A movie day! And what happens is that they put the film on and turn the lights out and suddenly Bella is like, holy shit, I'm in the dark with Edward Cullen, and she just gets horny. I was stunned by the unexpected electricity that flowed through me, amazed that it was possible to be more aware of him than I already was. A crazy impulse to reach over and touch him nearly overwhelmed me. Oh yeah, that was really good. I couldn't concentrate on the movie. I didn't even know what subject it was on. Biology, probably. I turned to say goodbye, but his face startled me. His expression was torn, and so fiercely beautiful that the ache to touch him flared as strong as before. My goodbye stuck in my throat. <coughs> He raised his hand and brushed the length of my cheekbone with his fingertips. His skin was as icy as ever, but the trail his fingers left on my skin was alarmingly warm. Like I'd been burned, but didn't feel the pain of it yet. We all know the feeling of that moment when you've been burned, but you can't feel the pain of it yet. That is how she felt. I was wondering if Edward would be waiting after Jim, or if I should meet him at his car. What if his family was there? I felt a wave of real terror. Did they know that I knew? Was I supposed to know that they knew that I knew? Or not? Edward gives Bella a lift home and then he says, Tomorrow it's my turn to ask you the questions. What's your favourite colour? I roll my eyes. It changes from day to day. Oh, you're so deep. What's your favourite colour today? Probably brown. It continues like that for the rest of the day. While he walked me to English, when he met me up in Spanish, all through the lunch hour, he questioned me relentlessly about every insignificant detail of my existence. Of course, Stephanie Meyer doesn't care about Bella Swan, and so we don't get the answers to those questions, because Stephanie Meyer is Bella Swan. As the teacher approached the light switch, I noticed Ed would slide his chair slightly farther away from mine. It didn't help. As soon as the room was dark, there was the same spark, the same restless craving to stretch my hand across the short space and touch his cold skin. Bella feels like a woman. I groaned internally. I don't know how that happens. It's, it's a noise. You can't... Oh, end of chapter 11. Oh, I found at the back of the book, I found um, a little bit of information about the author. Um, there's no picture, but it says, Stephanie Meyer graduated from Brian Young University with a degree in English literature. <laughs> Wait, what, what did it say when it flashes your picture? Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out too. Oh, this is definitely the wrong one. <laughs> Um, okay. The snipe, ready for the snipe. Same restless craving to shook my hand across the short space and touch it. Alright, uh... Mm, it's, the, it's a noise, you can't... Oh, <laughs> end of chapter 11. Oh, I found at the back of the book, I found um, a little bit of information about the author. Um, there's no picture. Around here, with his pee, lips a bit too full for a child line, narrow jaw pointed chin, fair skinned, chocolate brown eyes. Is that... Bella's description? Yeah, it's pretty much how they describe her in the book. Because you read it. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well then. I read all four of them. <laughs> you read all four of them. But you have a good reason, right? So you're going to con converse with the girls when I'm talking about it? Yeah. Yeah. So I, they'll, I be talk they'll be talking about Twilight. I'll be like, oh yeah. I, I respect that. that. Don't you respect that? Leave a comment below. <laughs> Psych. Don't do it. No one's going to do that because... I don't, no one cares about this channel. Yeah, it's too bad. They read, they, they watch the videos, kind of. 
Um, have you seen the latest one? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, we gotta shine this.